Hi, it's Sam from Poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I wanted to show you how to make a uh, special treat pouch but made with the two tags dye but in a different way to how I've actually ever seen it before. Now the two tags dye is uh, a big dye that you run through your big shot. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, you, big, you run it through your big shot die cutting machine and it has two tags on it. There's one thin one here and then there's a, a bigger one here that's got uh, score lines in it um, so that you can fold it in in different ways. Now what I've done is I've taken the two tags die and I've actually cut it out four times and I've decided to make this one, this one here is in cherry cobbler, but I've decided to make one in pool party this time. So I've cut out four tags and I'm going to stick them together in a particular way. Now I'm going to use snail and you can use either snail or you know, if you want to, you could use your sticky strip. Snail seems to be holding up quite well for me. Um, I'm just folding these up on the, the score lines that are already in place here. Um, so you're just going to uh, glue down on one side because when you layer them up together, you can see actually as I'm doing it now, they uh, the tag doesn't come all the way to the end. So we're going to do the same there. And as long as it folds over, you know you've got it in the right place. So we're going to do it again over here. A bit more adhesive. Put it upside down. And again, just lining it up. And then the final one. And the final one does come all the way across, actually, as you can see. So I'm going to run snail all the way along that. and just position it. There we go. And then the next thing you want to do is decide which is going to be your front and which is going to be your back. Now this one even though it's got a dirty mark I guess I've got ink on me from where I was prepping this up. This is going to be my front because obviously it follows through nicely. So your side uh, pieces here you're just folding them over on themselves just slightly and pinching the top part. And you can see it's sort of forming a natural crease there. And then the same on the other side. Just fold it over and just pinch this top part. And again, it's just forming a natural crease there. So we're going to pop that to one side for a minute and we're going to make our uh, the decorative front on it. Now I've already um, prepped this up. I've cut these out. Um, they measure six and a half by five centimetres. I've already cut them out because I wanted to put sticky strip on them and that does take a while. Um, this first one I made here I just used snail and as you can see it's peeling up and I wasn't very happy with that result. So I have already prepped it but we're making our own background using a stamp set called Circle Circus and I've chosen this one here and the pool party ink. <clears throat> So I've got my, <coughs> excuse me, I've got my stamp ready. Just ink it up and you're just really, quite randomly, stamping. Doesn't matter because they're bubbles, if they go over one another, that's not a problem. It's just a random process. Another one down there. So that's that one done. And we've got one here. And again, just quite randomly, doesn't matter, it's, it's, each one will be unique. And another one in the middle, there we go. So we get those out of the way. And then these you stick down to the ones that you've decided are your front and back. Like I say, I've got a little smudge on there, it's not a problem because I'm going to be covering that up with this anyway. Um, this is the ultimate homemade designer series paper um, and I've just stamped it onto Whisper White. off the last sticky strip and then just lay it over and it's about half a millimetre uh, sorry half a centimetre all the way around there we go that's one side done and then the other side we'll do that too
there we go and what that will mean is that um, when you come to close it we're going to close it in that way but again we're not going to close it just yet I want to do this front section here and I've got a piece of the pool party and we're going to make a sort of a, a watermark kind of background to it I'm really losing my voice today I'm so sorry so we're just going to stamp up and I'm just going to go along one edge rather than all over this piece of cardstock and then with the, uh, the modern label I'm just going to punch that out and it's kind of like a, a, like a kind of background that I've created. Punch one of those out and then my sentiment and I've chosen Happy Father's Day because we've, I mean Father's Day is next month, I've got my own father um, and then I've got my husband so my children buy for my husband as well and this is from the Teeny Tiny Sentiments which is the, the sentiment set I currently adore and uh, with a word window just pop that out and then I'm just going to use some dimensional edges because I want them to be quite small or rather quite narrow I should say and pop that onto this sort of watermark kind of background that I've made and then this one I want the bigger dimensionals which are the hexagons over here because I definitely don't want that budging so peel those off and find the one that I decided was the front that was the front Pop that on the bottom and now at this point you would put I don't know sweeps or whatever it is that you've bought for your your dad or your, your treat or whoever it is and then I've got some pool party baker's twine here and I've already prepped it onto a darning needle um, just uh, because it's easier to thread through so what I'm going to do what I'm going to do now is show you and try and talk you through the, the, the way you sort of stitch it together so you come through the front the bit where you put your sentiment pull it through and then this side bit you're going to go through the front of that as well so we're turning it around and going through the front but making sure the thread goes through that way <clears throat> through this one through the wrong side of it so that will pull together over the top and through there so you can see it sort of created a, a lightning bolt kind of shape so just gently start pulling it together and ditch the darning needle at this point and just just so you've got the right amount of thread that you want to be able to tie a knot or a bow and at this point, you definitely need to grab a binder clip because it's going to fight you. It's going to want to keep opening. So, see, you can see it's trying to fight me now. So grab a binder clip, and just really to hold it in place. And then making sure it's all nice and tight. Tie your knot or your bow. To put a little bow in this neaten it up a little bit and then before you trim off the edges make sure it's not going to pull open too far and then I've lost my scissors they're under everything <clears throat> trim off and there you have it an easy treat pouch that is made with two tags but four tags so that's the cherry cobbler and this is pool party um, if you've got any questions or you want to ask me anything just drop me a line leave a comment and I hope to speak to you soon thanks for watching bye